Well, it turns out all of these are negative 1. For the first fraction, we can think about simplifying the common factor of 6, leaving us with negative 1 divided by 1, or just negative 1. We can use the same reasoning for the rest of the examples. They'll all equal negative 1 since we'll have one factor that's positive in the numerator and one factor that's negative in the denominator. It doesn't matter where the negative sign falls, we just need one of them to be negative in order for our answer to be negative 1.